It was a lot of fun to be around my father. I was a very fortunate boy, as in my hero was my daddy. My father was an automobile mechanic. I felt that what my father was doing was science. And they said, George, it's what you gotta do. You need an education. You gotta get in there and really fight, because it's not gonna be easy. There was a competition out there between us and the Russians. And we must be strong to be able to conquer them through science. 1957 was Sputnik, and we were starting in the space program. In 1960-odd, all the NASA facilities popped up around the country. Then on TV, you saw these horrible crashes of all these American space vehicles. I would like to try to invent, discover, or publish something that was unique, or patent something that was unique that added to the situation. If there were so few blocks in science and technology, and, and some of us were able to get into those jobs and get some kind of connection at that time. I'm determined, I think I'm determined. I will try, I will put the time in. I've worked in companies of several hundred people where I was the only black person in the company. And I just won't, I will not give up. I'm a dreamer, I go. <laughs> I love to get there and dream and, and daydream and things like that. No one man is a, is a mountain in physics. There are many mountains, but no one has the, all the knowledge himself. I don't think anyone makes anything today without help from others. The big thing about being in science and engineering, if you have a good, interesting project, coming to work is not coming to work. It's coming to an inventor. And, and I much rather have an inventor than, than do laborious things.